Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear students, uh, this is me, Bushra Salman, and I have with me Sister Shabano. And wa alaikum assalam. We are here with another amazing topic when you make mistake. And this topic is very important, and you all will be able to relate because we all do mistakes. To err is human, right? We that that is in our nature or instinct to do mistakes. And history of mistake is as older as the his, uh, creation of Hazrat Adam al -Islam. When he when he and Hazrat Hawa al -Islam was created in heaven, he was told to uh, follow certain rules, but then they, they, they forgot and unintentionally they did some mistake. And then what did they do immediately? Um, they repented. So that is our whole discussion point today. Like what a believer is supposed to do when he or she makes a mistake. And we will discuss this particular event in detail. Like what was uh, the role of Prophet uh, Adam al Islam and Hazrat Hawa al Islam, and what was the role of Shaitan at that point? And what lesson we can drive from that mistake, which both parties did. Sister Shabana, would you like to add something before I move forward? Yeah, Mr. Salman. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. This is very, again, a very important topic and very important topic in the sense that uh, it gives us hope and it gives us clarity. Uh, and I think we're gonna, we are going to learn many, many new things. Um, let's let's start this. Right, right. So, without any delay uh, i would go to my slides and we will take it as a reference point and we'll add further our thoughts to the slides so are you able to see my screen sister shavano when you yeah, make a mistake uh, yeah it's the first slide character building yeah so it has word character building um so this is this is very important topic for anybody's character building like, at no matter at what age you are we all do mis the mistakes at any age and we continuously grooming ourselves, grooming our character, right? So the person who is, uh, who is uh, stubborn on the mistake is the person who has stopped his character building, right? So in order to groom um, and evolve continuously, you, you have to have this thing in mind that you will make mistakes. You are a human being. And as long as you can go back and correct yourself, that will contribute to your character building. Would you like to say something, Sister Shabana, on this? Yeah, it's an amazing topic. Even the title mistake, uh, it, it emphasizes uh, to think what is the take which is mistakenly take, uh, taken wrong, you know? Uh, we took it wrong way. So, it's giving it's 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 giving us a sign of awakening that we are alert and we are aware of what we are doing. It's the, I think this is the first step towards growing ahead, growing towards the character building process. Because uh, knowing that we are somewhere and we are doing something, you know, there is a we all uh, go through this process that. Uh, days are they, days pass by months and years, and we don't know what we did, you know, where we are going. So it indicates that if we are sitting here and if we are aware that there is a mistake, it means we are the, uh, we are awakened, we are alert. Itself, it's it's a positive thing. This is the first thing uh, I it, it is coming in my mind that it's a good thing to know that there is a mistake. So. We, we should be uh, like we have to be conscious, alert. So it's yeah. a very it's a very good point. Like you know, the ability to see that you did mistake is the first step. Because yeah. if you are not able to identify that you're wrong, it means you have not started that process of correction at all. Uh, so exactly. uh, and so the the process of correction starts with the identification of the mistake or or thinking that you have the capability of the mistake, doing the mistake. So that, that's very uh, amazing point, Zakala. I'll read through first slide and uh, we'll discuss. One of the Quranic teachings is Tawbah, which means repentance. When you make mistake, 
uh, when you make a mistake and do toba the blessing of god will return to you in the chapter of tahreem prohibition the quran says this is one of the surah in which uh, this uh, this verse of that surah is referred oh believers turn to god in sincere repentance in the hope that your lord will forgive you your bad deeds and admit you into gardens watered by running streams 668 um in this verse the quran declares that after engaging in janan toba one would has erred will be unburdened of the effects of his deeds what is most important about this is that the wrong doer will be granted forgiveness by god and will consequently be rewarded with the paradise in the hereafter this divine blessing is not confined to the next world in the extended sense it also includes the present world family life and social life will also be blessed with the fruits of tawba this is really beautiful thing um i would just add my perspective to it and then i would uh, ask sister bana to add some uh so when you are asking for the forgiveness it does not mean or or uh, i should start from the concept of janna so the janna is not for the people who do not do the mistake the janna is for the people or the paradise is for the people who will do mistakes and who will ask for toba so this is this is really beautiful concept to me and and, and the uh, like the last sentence is it's not just the um, hereafter let's it's this life as well where you will see the fruits of toba now what are those fruits sister shabano please um, tell us like what are those fruits or rewards which we will enjoy in akhirah and in this world if we do repent or on our mistake your yeah, first reward would be focus we we are focusing on ourselves this is something which is we are meant for our life is meant for that we have to focus on ourselves as previous on previous topics you have uh, already explained the uh, story of uh, prophet adam that how was uh, he was not focused on the fruits that he was already given and he was distracted toward the other fruit so the first fruit is a fruit of attention and the focus and the uh, the the vision the focus of vision which is already given to us all of human beings if we are alive if we are seeing another day it means we are blessed with another opportunity we are blessed with another um possibility another capacity to uh, to be focused so if we are focused this is the first at first step we we are having that fruit and if we go ahead and if you are able to you know we are we always focus that we should think and if you are in the process of thinking and if we have something some incident and and that incident is not is is a part of our thinking process it will end up showing us our part of mistake so this again showing us the alertness the awakening part of ourselves so this fruit is the bad, that part of fruit which is uh, on our side so what else we can have now we can move ahead we we become understanding of the situation any situation where we are uh i i am i'm not specifying a speci- specific situation but any type of situation if we are able to understand where where i am standing on this issue or in the, in this incident the whole picture becomes more clear the whole picture comes in another perspective which gives us a clear understanding to towards the solution so from here not only we are alert not only we are focused our whole energy our whole power of thinking power of uh, searching for the possible solutions is uti- is being utilized on the solution rather than the uh, the other complaint mode or the the total opposite side of if you are not able to see the mistake so we as we are muslim alhamdulillah and we all know that like all the prophets if we start from prophet adam to prophet musa to prophet yunus to prophet all the prophet have been in this situation where they found something 
where they were where they were found wrong or they were into something and they went back towards allah subhanahu wa taala where they can have that correction so how it is beautiful that you you take a position and you understand yourself then you go back to your lord you ask for forgiveness and again you ask for guidance hidaya and there is a self correction process this is the whole the 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 process of mistake is uh, as the verse shows as you told it shows that is a process of self correction and self growth if we take it positively if we take it as an opportunity mm-hmm. so i think uh, and and how it is beautiful that we are able to uh, we, uh, we are able to pick out our own part of the mis- uh, this mm-hmm. our own uh, part of the act which went wrong so yeah. it means that we are empowering ourselves you know we are empowering yeah. our, ourselves in this sense can you please explain further Bushra? yeah i would i would like to add to this point like like in identifying our own mistake sometime it happens that it is not identified by us it is sometime identified by others so our behavior should be same so when we identify so, th- so this there is a greater chance that we are not able to identify our own mistake if if that process starts then it's it's good nothing is like that but if our teacher our parents or if somebody who is even it can be our classmate it can be our sibling because they have another set of eyes another set of brain and they are seeing it from another angle your matter and if maybe they are genuinely able to identify your mistake and you are not able to just like you are reading or writing something there is concept of proof reading and concept of proof uh, listening so that is done because uh, because the writers can do mistake and they have proof readers and it's why they why they are not able to proof read by themselves because when you are reading i'm just giving an example when you are reading something which you have written written with your own hand there is greater chance that your mind skip that mistake and and read through what your mind has already registered as a correct sentence and you just skip it you skip your uh, your mistake just like that you need a if you need a proof reader for your writings you need a proof observer in your life as well and everybody is proof observer so take everyone's criticism positively so whenever we are able to identify our mistake or somebody else has pointed out our mistake it should not matter we should not take it personally so here i would like to quote again that event which happened uh, in jannah between us uh, hazrat adam and uh, and the and the satan allah subhanahu wa taala they both did mistake sorry 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 allah subhanahu wa taala identified the mistake of both of them right then the what what was the difference between two the difference of the attitude the shaitan satan uh, became stubborn on that mistake and prophet adam repented on that mistake both did mistake but the the response towards the 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 mistake was different and that made that created huge difference one became uh, the source of goodness as a prophet and another became source of evil as a shaitan so that's that's that is that has a great lesson in itself that mis- doing mistake is okay even it was start of the creation plan doing the mistake but how you react to that mistake it makes you either saint or and then either it either it makes you a good person or the bad person right that that defines who you are mistakes do not define you who you are so so that is very good point jazakallah khair sister shabano because of your point i was able to add this point so and you i just want to add that you indicated many very important point that should be we should be always aware that if i am not able to uh, identify mis- my mistake there this uh, indication can be from anywhere from okay. um, uh, in the form of criticism so i should welcome all the criticism as well yeah. did i understand uh, l- right um so yes. sure you made the same point because yeah, yeah i agree problem. i agree i i uh, that was actually my point that you should welcome the criticism and whenever some criticism come you should not be uh, offended immediately you should think whether i have this 
bad thing yeah. in me or whatever that he, that person is pointing towards it, it really exists in me if it exists in me then there is no point of being offensive the yeah. the next step should be to correct that thing yes. instead amazing, of amazing amazing point amazing is yes, that we should welcome all the criticism as well jazakallah yes. for this jazakallah khair sister shabana would you like to read this slide yeah thank you uh toba is an instrument of self correction initiating a process uh, of self assessment this process is vital as it en- enhances your intellectual caliber and increases your capacity of, for analysis in family life as well as social life untoward events are unavoidable such happenings are so relations and create a distance between people the best solution is toba don't wait for others to take the lead it is for you to come forward and say without hesitation i'm sorry i was wrong this is the only way of maintaining normalcy among relatives friends acquaintances and even strangers problems in social life invariably arise from some kind of wrong behavior in reality men are by nature egoistic and women are emotional the simple solution is having a tranquil social life is not to ruffle the ego of a man and uh, not to neglect a woman's emotions there is no social ill that cannot be set right by the this two point formula but it must also be accepted that to err is human so whenever you err and some man or woman becomes negative towards you do not hesitate but at once admit your mistake and say sorry i was wrong this short sentence will prove to be magical in its effect and the whole situation will instantly be normalized this is a miracle of toba wow jazakallah this is amazing uh, written amazing. amazingly written yeah amazing yeah. so uh, uh, what i understood from this uh, slide is uh, if you do some mistake which involves which do not involve other human beings it just about you that that you lied on something you stole lying and stealing such kind of things also affect others i can't think of an example hmm. maybe um you skipped a prayer maybe anything which you are supposed to do and you didn't do and it didn't affect anybody it is for yourself what is the next step you have to it, it's between you and allah you have to go and say sorry to allah and then mend your ways and do not repeat that mistake but what if your action has affected somebody like like even doing uh, like gossip about someone it can affect their repute this is this is a bit step ahead maybe i give uh, i should give a simple example maybe being rude to someone that is that has a direct impact on others right so if you realize immediately oh i was being rude to someone what should what should be your next step you would repent but would repentance alone be enough because that person is still hurt or upset about it and you are saying toba to allah subhanahu wa taala would it would it be enough no it wouldn't be enough so allah taala also says in various places that if my uh, if you have done something wrong with that person if that person does not forgive you i will not forgive you so what is what is the way of believers they they go and they sorry they say sorry a believer is not egoistic here uh, um, uh, it is written in the slide that men are egoistic and women are emotional this is not true in every case this is just a generic example usually in our south asian society men are like that oh i am man of the family i'm 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 how i'm i'm the leader of the household or and the women are emotional it's not in negative sense as well because allah subhanahu wa taala has made women emotional so that they can they by using their emotion they can take care of their family and men are not egoistic in all cases this is just an example usually it happens when negative in negative sense they become they can become stubborn and women can um, become emotional and both parties cannot admit their mistakes and it's not between like gender it can happen in the same genders two female friends can be um egoistic with each other two male friends can be egoistic with each other they can be emotional with each other and then they can be stubborn on their matters and they can there is possibility that th- both parties do not admit their fault but who is the great person the great person is the person who 
go ahead and keep keep uh, ego on the side and say sorry to the other person. And Sister Shabana will add to this point that what are rewards of doing, uh, taking the, uh, you know, uh, running uh, towards the sorry or what are the rewards or what are the fruits of saying sorry first? Sister Shabana, over to you. Yeah, Vishal Salman, but before that, I want to ask you that if I am wrong and if I, I don't admit it, uh, and I feel it that I'm wrong, and I am with that person, if he, he's my brother, he's my sister, she's my mom, he's my father, I know it, but I'm not, in, uh, I'm not having that courage. Mm. So how, can you please explain the situation? that how if, should i uh, is it is it good idea to just leave it leave it like that it is not good idea you are it means that um, there are two points here if you are yeah. not telling somebody you at you know in your heart that you are you are wrong at something but you are not saying sorry and you are just being zip, zip your mouth and just waiting and watching i i have not done anything anything wrong that that kind of attitude you are having that kind of attitude you are being dishonest with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at your heart. He knows what is in your heart. People do not know. But you know that, that you have done this mistake and it's, you generally know in your head that it's a, it's a mistake. Allah ta'ala knows that you know and Allah ta'ala can read your thoughts. So in fact, you are denying this in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are trying to deny in front of whom who already knows all it all right one thing and secondly your ego is big Allah SWT is not big you you are worshipping your ego you are not worshipping Allah SWT because Allah SWT is teaching is when you are sorry admit it don't be like Satan like he was in Jannah in the first place that that's what the promise was from taken from us uh, Adam al Islam and the, on that promise the, the for, forgiveness was given, right? That's what that's what they said that oh Allah, we did wrong and we are definitely among people of the loss. Like we we did we did something bad. So if you're not being humble like them, it means you are you are following the footstep of Shaitan. So you are doing two kinds of harms to yourself. You are being dis dishonest in uh, in front of Allah Ta'ala and you are worshipping your ego. You're not worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is, you are not actually doing fair to you. You think that you are, you are taking revenge or you are, you are, in fact, you, you are doing harm to others. No, you are doing harm to yourself. Eventually, it's you who is in the loss. That's my opinion, Sister Shabano. You tell me what is uh, right. No, no, no. Uh, you are very right. I totally agree. So the, I, I'm putting uh, uh, in front of you another case. Where I am, I admit that I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Mm hmm but still okay. I'm not able to. Yeah, please explain this as well because then I you admit in I your know. head. You admit in your yeah. head that you're wrong, but you yeah, don't say yeah. it from in words, right? Yeah, and yeah, and even if I have said Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, oh, uh, forgive me, but I'm not moving ahead to uh, declare it in front of that person to uh, my mom or my father or my uh, my sibling that I'm I was wrong. So I mean, how to measure this this attitude, please. Explain. I mean, I have already explained that if Allah will not forgive us, if that person is not forgiven us, you say sorry to Allah thousand times, but if that person is still hurt, the damage is done. You are not doing anything to correct the damage. You have to correct the damage. And it's not that if you will go and say sorry, you will become a less of person. Allah, yeah. Allah increases your respect in his own sight. So if Allah has increased your respect in his own sight, what, why you need respect of the world? right? But that's not the case. The person who says sorry, he also gains respect of the world as well. He becomes yeah. the bigger person. Try it sometime. Say, okay. um, say, oh. uh, say to your mem family members, I'm sorry. I did a mistake. Uh, yeah. then, then, then you will enjoy the fruit of love that would be created between you and your sibling and your family. Will they, will they not punish me? It depends. I'm not saying they will not. It depends. Maybe if the other person is so much angry, maybe they will do it. But most of the time, their anger would resolve. Because okay. when you say sorry, the other person is also a human being. He, they will forgive you out of love. If they are okay, Salman, uh, is it so that 
i am saying sorry and i'm admitting that mom i was wrong it means that i am crushing my ego yeah and that that and exactly crushing, it means and crushing ego is not bad that's quality I, of believers and here is a my ego is saying that don't go for this and my submission to allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that no you have to admit in front of allah subhanahu wa taala and his creation so can we say this is the, the true ibada can it is say? true ibada it is true ibada crushing ego is true ibada it is true submission so you so you summed it all yes yeah. your so, question so okay. yeah yeah that's why uh, uh, here i want to start that we can feel the fruit of the the toba the, how it is it is cr- creating uh, building our character yeah that we are we are uh, we are like mirror we are becoming like a transparent mirror that we are we feel something good we express it and we 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 we, we go through a bad mood we go through a mistake and we admit that we made made a mistake oh mom i did this and i truly i'm, I'm sorry i will not do it again the the way hazrat yunus prophet yunus said la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minaz zalimin the way that i because i am little mom i am little i need to learn ahead my father or my other even my younger brother or sister so i'm learning on this so there will be a journey of correcting myself again and again until i will be purified to the extent that i'll be able to enter in the neighborhood of allah subhanahu wa taala and that will be jannah right. so it's an ongoing process and we can feel the harmony and the peace and like in our one of the previous uh, class uh, you beautifully said that is it possible that we are having a bad day and we uh, we had uh, uh a uh, we created mess in relationship or due to our anger is it possible to sleep with a smile no it is not possible to it's sleep possible. with a smile so so sleeping with peace creating harmony and accepting everyone and and i don't want to miss a point bushra salman that if we are able to connect with our own self and we are able to connect to the true mirror of our own self that i am the person who is again and again going towards the righteousness and i am creating mistakes in my whole life and i am again trying to correct it so it means that every person is going through the same process and there i am able to understand that any can any person can be wrong so i will be less judgmental mm-hmm. i will be yes i will be able to adjust with all of type of people uh, whether they are relatives whether they are friends with my classmates with my teachers and i'll be able to respect them because i will be able to understand that they are like me they can understand or they can make mistake and the, the same way we can create harmony because i am humble in myself if i am right. not humble in myself i cannot be a respectful person i am not be i will not be able to respect others so so it is this is the this is the fruit of this dunya which we can see in ourselves and i invite everyone and i believe everyone have gone through the process of mistake and saying sorry and having this uh, in in quran it, there is a there is a specific word that is called sakina and it means uh, satisfaction the ultimate satisfaction and it is uh, there are almost seven um, ayas in in uh, there are verses in quran mm-hmm. that they says that like rain it is showered the 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 fruit of sakina you know mm-hmm. the 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 fruit of satisfaction so the ultimate thing which we receive or in the same moment is the satisfaction right right if we, we give ourselves out of our dichotomy situation where i have when my heart goes, goes this way and my the other thing my heart side goes that way right right jazakallah khair for uh, for the great takeaways uh, such a shabano and we will definitely continue this point into other side i will quickly go through and and you can comment further people have no difficulty in saying oh god forgive me but when it comes to human problem 
I think it's the same thing which which yeah. we are discussing that they are reluctant to say, "Oh, brother, please forgive me." This kind of hesitation is against the spirit of faith. A true man of faith will say to other, "Forgive me," just as easily he says to God, "Oh Lord, forgive me." Tawa is an inner spirit and a readiness to atone for every kind of mistake. If you make a mistake that arouses uh, anger in other another, but then you repent and say, "Please forgive me. I was wrong." This will certainly cause the uh, aggrieved person to have an, a change of heart. Such an apology will, on the one hand, inculcate uh, positivity in your soul, and on the other hand, it will promote the culture of love among the people who are living there. Tawa is instrument of self-correction, initiating a process of self-reassessment. This process is vital as it enhances your intellectual caliber, increases your capacity for analysis. This in turn leads to spiritual development. I think it's, uh, uh, it's saying the yeah. same thing, like why saying sorry to others are important, why it's yeah. important aspect of faith. And uh, <clears throat> Tawa, I think the new point in this slide is Toba is a self-correction, instrument of self-correction. It's a whole process. So I would just describe it in two steps. And then we have a slide which is describing more than two steps. Uh, it's, I think it's a concept, concept of psychology. I, it was very interesting. I enjoyed it. Um, so to me, Toba is two-step process. One is to say, I, I think it's two, it's it's three-step process. You first you realize that you did something. Right, and when you decide, okay, I have done wrong, I'm I'm repenting of it. Right now, repenting is two step. <clears throat> that I will never do this mistake again. Right, one thing, and secondly is like like a firm, like first step is stop doing that sin or mistake. The second is I will never do that mistake again. So it's kind of three steps process: identification, stopping from that act. And then promising with yourself that I will not do it again. That was my concept of Toba. But uh, we can further elaborate these three steps, like how you can achieve these three steps. Mr. Shabano, would you like to say something? No, no, exactly. It's already we discussed it. And uh, I think we will, we, I'm, I'm excited. How can we go step by step to the process of Ms. Uh, Toba? Yeah. Yeah, Let's it's in see. the next slide. This is still continuity of like uh, what about some some more points about mistakes. Everyone make mis mistake. I want I would like to say something about it because I wanted to say earlier and then I forgot that you when you said Sister Shabano that you become less when you will think that everyone does mistake, you will become less judgmental about others as well as for yourself as well. Because what stops us from saying sorry? If you deep do deep thinking on that, it's like you don't want to be a less of person in other, other people's sight, right? But when you have this thing in your mind that everyone makes mistakes, then you, you are not worried about your repute. Then you, you will not think that I, when I will admit my mistake, I will become less of a person because everyone does mistake, right? So it, it's, it's a, it's a two-way street. Like, like you will be less judgment, judgmental about yourself and for others when you will think this thing that everyone makes mistakes. So we should always have this sentence in our mind because th this thing really helped me personally to forgive myself. And then, you yeah. know, forgiving Sometimes yourself is are... also important yeah. because you cannot, you cannot stay in constant state of guilt because that would stop your journey of faith. That, that would cause a despair in yourself. And despair is the one of the trick of shaitan to uh, make you away from your Lord. So uh, a believer never goes in despair. If he ma make mistakes, what he does, it, he says, it's okay. Everyone does mistake. I'll say Toba and I'll never do it again. It's simple. So Sister yeah. Shaban, would you like to add something? Yeah, everyone makes mistake and we can uh, see in Quran, there are many prophets uh, starting from prophet Adam. So why, what is the hikmah of this that everyone is going back towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for forgiveness. Uh, so can you please explain a bit that, because uh, what is the takeaway of this? That we what, see that many- What is hikmah? Make. I mean, yeah, what, what is, is hikmah? The, wisdom, wisdom. What wisdom is wisdom behind, wisdom behind doing the mistakes and going back to Allah? 
yeah 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 because yeah. allah wants to have that connection between uh, between his servants his, uh, his believers and him, with himself because he could have yeah. this is how man is made he is made with the ability to do mistakes but it comes with the free will if you have a free will yeah. you will sometime you will do good uh, good decision sometime you will do bad decisions the bad decisions will result in mistakes and the hikmah behind is that that allah taala wants his uh, believer to come back to him so that connection that ultimate so in that comes yeah yeah go ahead it's a call from god it's called from it, god it can be a call from god this is a beautiful yeah, yeah. mistake should a mistake can be called call. from god like make... god is calling you yeah so yeah, yeah. so it's come a... back come back yeah. i'm here yes. to forgive you so yeah jazakallah for putting a very negative thing in a, in a very positive manner so yeah our mistakes can be blessings for us in other words but if we recognize them and return to allah then uh i'll continue our thoughts and feelings actions are sometimes in conflict that's true it's is it seems easier to avoid dealing with the situation than confronting it people see that um apologizing is sign of weakness relationship often break as a result actually uh, honesty and courage are strongly recommended to diffuse the situation and re- restore the trust justice and personal dignity so i would just summarize these quickly because we have to give a class activity as well and then you can add your thought and it's the same things which we have talked already that apologizing yeah. is not sign of weakness uh, rather when you deal with it it's not confronting confronting that it's not that you are you are talking about that mistake and you just want bad situation again no you are realizing it oh i did mistake you admit it you get it resolved and that will increase your personal dignity believe me it doesn't make you less of a person so that's that these are the points which we have, we have already discussed so sir yeah. shabana would you like to discuss something well said, well said yeah move ahead vishad uh, this okay. is amazing the restoration process this is the same process the repentance process which i said in three beautiful. steps but the this psychology is a beautiful slide yeah as the psychology is for this splits into six steps actually this is the practical way of restoring <clears throat> why the word restoring is used when you do some mistake you are like i i wish when you realize it you did a mistake and you you at some point you can think i wish it didn't happen and it can be like that you can make it like that that it didn't happen at all allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says a person who does mistakes and then say toba he is like a person who is newly born so this is the process Beautiful. of that this is the process of that being like a new born how you can be like a new born you can innocent like a new born uh first step is regret feel and know that you have done something wrong these slides are self explanatory i'll just read through that you have upset failed injured someone you just need to realize regret mean feeling feeling of guilty and that is very natural sister shabano it happens when you do mistakes you naturally become guilty and your your inner your inner instinct which uh, instinct which allah taala has given you tells you that ting tong you have done something wrong so re- uh, recognition and acknowledge your wrong doings and show that you understand how it has affected the other person that that is also self explanatory that also our instinct uh, t- uh, telling us always that somebody is affected by you hmm, your classmate mood is not good your sibling's mood is not good your parents mood is not good something you have done wrong responsibility take the responsibility for your action and act timeless timelessly don't wait timelessly timelessly yeah. uh just go ahead and say sorry that that's what it means nothing else <laughs> or try to um, try to mend it Repent. don't overthink don't overthink uh it won't make you again a smaller person repent Demon- yeah. demonstrate that you are truly sorry for what you did and you should not say oh i'm sorry you should say oh i'm sorry it affected there is a way of saying sorry one is say oh i'm sorry and other ways i know it affected you and you're feeling bad i hurt your emotions try to say it with empathy that you really felt that uh, that you have affected other person and then realign resolve commit to not repeating that behavior like i said it's part of toba to commit to promise to yourself that i'll not do it again repay <clears throat> restitution 
make a gesture to make up for what you have done. So it, it is like, I would like to comment on that, how you can make up stuff. Uh, if you have done something to uh, something wrong to somebody, for example, you have broken something, some, something very dear to your mother uh, or classmate or anything. You have broken something and it cannot come back. It's broken now. How you can make up such in such situations, Sister Shamana? First of all, I will be in a in a in a situation oh shock that I did it, you know. Right. So either I should like hide all the pieces of glass or run away from the situation that there no one knows that I did it. But this is all this there is an option. This also there is an option. And there is mm -hmm. another option that I say that ah oh, no, I didn't do it. She did it or he did did it. <laughs> So this is a running out of this situation, but believe me, this uh, it's my experience that if I did it ever in in I in my past, that thing goes with me, that sticks with me, and it comes in my mind and it it makes me restless. So the only option which is I am left with to get uh, to be with my like peace that I have to admit that I did it. I did it first, and then I I said I should say sorry. I would say that I did it, and uh, how can I make it up? And uh, I should like express that I felt I felt really sad that uh, it happened so. Mm -hmm. So I believe my sincerity would um, would clear the situation because that will lead me to what to say, how to say. So these situations come when I'm sincere about that person's uh, damage that, that, that I did. So, so I think uh, the same goes with any behavioral problem, which I somehow, I, I spoke something bad. Right. Yeah, my the focus same was, process sorry, goes. sorry to cut you off here. My focus is like how you would repay in those situations where you can't bring that thing back or where you can't unsay a sad word. You have already said it, right? Something rude to someone. Yeah. Or if you have broken something, damage is done. In internal or external damage is done. So in anyway, is done. I will comp how will I compensate? I will try yeah. to be nice. I will try to be nice uh, because maybe I'm not able to bring that thing back. I will not be able to make it up again. But I will try to best possible way to to be nice, to be to be there and to to let her let that person know that uh, I truly feel that I I yeah. I truly felt that I bad. So, uh, so anything think, else? Because I I, I no, am like not very much clear. No, no, you, you are, are you are saying it right. You are saying you you can come at it in various ways. Like maybe you can help them in other thing in order to make them feel better. Like Allah Taala says, the bad deed, which which is very important point, when we forgot to mention that bad deed removes the good deed, which is yeah. another part of knowing the mistake, right? If you have yeah, already committed yeah. a sin, how you rem yeah. how you rem remove? After saying Toba, you definitely you are you are like a newborn. But another way of for your own satisfaction, just do a good deed. Just be nice to that person. Just help help that person in homework or maybe a house chore, maybe a a difficult situation yeah. where he is alone, yeah. or she is alone, and you can lend your shoulder to that person. So that yeah. would incul inculcate the good relationship between you and that uh, person and it would be easier for them to forgive you on what you did rightly said rightly said yeah okay Got it. the restoration uh, process um again uh oh it's uh i think some of the slide is copied over but the same thing so we will move to the class activity um the class activity is write answers in in your own words what should we do when we realize that we have done mistake I think we have discussed it so many times during the discussion. So you would already know it. <clears throat> and when will Allah forgive us if we have caused a hurt to other human beings? So this is answer should be simple. And what are those steps towards restoration when you make mistake? You can take help of the slides here. And now uh, your responses will be submitted to us. I hope you enjoyed the topic. And soon we, we are going to discuss this in our long-term course as well. And we will have a conversation with you on this. Thank you.